This quick guide tutorial from ExoCAD shows the chain mode tooth placement feature. With the ExoCAD Dental CAD version 2016, the chain mode feature is available in the tooth placement dialog, which appears in the wizard right after the crown bottoms dialog. The general tooth placement functions you should already be familiar with are still available in the simple tab. These will be explained in a separate tutorial. Now, Let's try the chain mode by clicking the chain mode tab. The chain mode is represented by a light blue chain. Green chains control points and dark blue UFOs marking the ends of the tooth bow. There are three different chain modes. Chain transforms all teeth in a chain. Single allows single tooth transformations. Tube transforms all teeth with a fixed bow. Let's start with the mode chain. Click any point in the tooth bow and drag your mouse to move the whole tooth bow in a chain. If you click on one of the UFOs, the other UFO will be fixed in its position automatically marked by the red point. This allows you to place just one side's end of the tooth bow at the distal contact point of an existing adjacent. Both UFOs will be unlocked once you let them off. That's why I recommend to pin the control point of the UFO once you have finished the placement. Now you can click and drag the chain at any point without changing the distal position of the pinned UFO. If you'd like to completely pin a tooth on its place, click on its green control point. It becomes red then. This way you can lock any tooth at its position. Maybe you've already noticed that the teeth will be scaled if you do a big transformation on the chain. This behavior can be switched off with the result that you cannot stretch the complete tooth bow wider than the total width of all teeth together as the teeth keep their size now. By default, the teeth always stay in contact while doing transformations. If switched off, you can create gaps between the teeth when stretching the chain. Activating Keeping Contact again will re-establish the contacts. There's another checkbox in the dialog that allows you to show hide the chain controls. The undermost checkbox will limit the tooth rotation to buccal lingual tilt. This will be shown later in this tutorial. In chain mode, you have the same options for the tooth placement as in simple mode. Use the left mouse button to move parts of the chain. If there is no adjacent, you may also lock the last teeth of the chain first. Use Control and the left mouse button to rotate parts of the chain. Note, if a tooth is pinned, it can still be transformed when selecting it directly. But it's protected from being influenced by the neighboring teeth's movement. Use Shift and the left mouse button to scale a single tooth in the chain if both ends of the chain are pinned. Use Control, Shift, and the left mouse button to scale all unpinned teeth in buccal lingual direction. If only one end is pinned, then this tooth is used as reference for the scaling with Shift. If none is pinned, all the teeth will be scaled together with Shift. In chain mode, the greater the distance to the tooth you move or rotate, the less it influences the adjacents. If the chain's ends are pinned, scaling only affects one tooth size, but the adjacent's position may change as they remain in contact. Rotation actions can be limited to buccal lingual direction. 
Generally, when rotating a tooth, only the buccal lingual tilt will influence the adjacent rotation movements. All other rotation directions do not influence the tilt of adjacent teeth directly. Only their positions are affected, as they remain in contact with the tooth you rotate. Let us now switch to the single mode. In the single mode, moving or rotating a tooth does not directly influence the placement of the adjacent teeth. Moving or rotating a tooth may only change the position of the adjacents as they all remain in contact in the chain. As you can see now, rotating tooth 11 does not rotate the adjacents. Scaling has the same effect as in chain mode. The single mode is perfect to do fine tweaking on single teeth. Let's have a look again to the chain mode to compare both modes. Moving a single tooth in the chain mode will move a series of teeth. The greater the distance, the less is the movement's action's influence. Rotating a single tooth will also rotate a series of teeth in buccal lingual direction. The bigger the distance, the less is the rotation action's influence. When you scale a tooth and the ends are pinned, the center of this tooth is used for scaling. As I already mentioned, I recommend to place the last teeth first and lock their positions. Then continue in chain mode with the canines. Each time you're happy with a tooth position, pin it. Next, finalize the anterior's positions in the chain mode. Or switch to single mode to do some fine tweaking. And to finalize the arch setup. The chain mode is a great tool to do a full arch tooth placement. A few clicks are enough to do such a setup. Let's now also have a look at the tube mode. When working in tube mode, I recommend to release all tooth positions. Note, with Control, Shift, and the left mouse button, you can pin or release all teeth. With Shift and the left mouse button, you can do the same with a defined series of teeth. Now you can move all the teeth on a fixed bow, called the tube. This is a really nice feature to correct the center line when all teeth have already been placed. We now have seen all modes in the Chain Mode tab. Let us now have a look at another very interesting option, namely the Symmetry option. The Symmetry button actually consists of four buttons. The upper left button creates an overall symmetry from the patient's right side to the left side. The upper right button creates an overall symmetry from left to right. The lower right button creates a front teeth symmetry from left to right. The lower left button creates a front teeth symmetry from right to left. Control points appear blue for teeth which will be considered in the symmetry mode. When moving teeth in front symmetry, the position of the posteriors can be influenced too, if they are not locked in position. In single mode, each tooth transformation will be mirrored along the symmetry plane. Important note, as long as the control point for the symmetry plane is green, not locked, the plane may change its position within the tooth bow. Green arrows on the control point indicate the reference teeth which are used to place, orient, the symmetry plane. You can choose any pair of reference teeth, as shown here in front symmetry and even in overall symmetry, simply by pinning them. An example, the last pinned pair is used as reference. If you lock the control point, the symmetry plane will stay in place. The control point's reference points are automatically pinned if you lock the front symmetry plane and you can't unlock them as long as the symmetry plane remains locked. 
In a front symmetry, transformations for the posteriors will not be mirrored to the other side. With a plane in single mode, you now have a perfect configuration to do some fine tweaking on the anteriors, which will make it very easy to design symmetrical anterior setups. Note that in symmetry mode, even changes on control points will be mirrored. A simple click on the symmetry button deactivates the feature again. Finalize the design in single mode. Let's try the overall symmetry. As you can see now, the patient's left side has been mirrored to the right side. We lock the symmetry plane. In single mode, as well as in chain mode, all transformations and control point changes will be mirrored to the other side. If we unlock the symmetry plane and no other point is locked, the whole tooth bow will be moved. Let's play around a little with the chain mode and overall symmetry. The last option I want to show you is the reset button. This button allows you to reset your placement in different ways. This option resets all teeth between unpinned teeth. This option resets everything, but keeps the changes made in the simple tab. This option resets everything to the initial tooth placement. The last option will close the reset window and all tooth positions remain as they are. Let's choose Reset, keep red, as it might be the most important reset. Thank you for watching this video.